Hello gents and welcome to a uh, futsal lesson. Uh, so just to give you an introduction to the sport. <coughs> this is a futsal and the biggest difference between futsal and football okay, is the bounce of the ball. So this is a heavier weighted ball. Okay, and so you can see there, it did bounce back up to the screen. The bounce is much lower than a football. Okay, so it's weighted heavier. And that means, all right, that if you watch the, the futsal clips on YouTube, okay, and watch any futsal before, a main difference of the control of the ball is with the sole of your foot. Okay? If someone was to pass you a futsal and you went to control it with the side of your foot as you would do perhaps in a football, the ball would get stuck here okay, because of the weight of it against your foot. Which means if you wanted to do anything with it, you'd have to have another touch out of your feet in order to then pass the ball. That's why in futsal when the ball is passed to you, okay, they get it out of their feet with the sole of their foot. Okay? So out your feet and then that means straight away you could do so with it. Okay, so we're going to be doing loads of skills involving just the use of the sole of your feet, just an introduction to it really. Okay, obviously I appreciate that none of you at home, well, probably none of you, maybe one or two have a futsal. Okay, so I'm going to try and do most of them with a football. Hopefully you've got that at home. Okay, if you haven't got a football, I might try and do a couple with a tennis ball. Alright, hopefully most of you have got one of those at home. If not... Here's a rolled up pair of game socks that you will definitely have, okay? One in the other, and roll them up to make a nice tight ball as best you can around the surface. Failing that, okay? Perhaps better than the socks, but try not to squash it on your parents' carpet. Okay, this is a tomato. You can use a, uh, an apple, okay? But I would really recommend, if you haven't already done so, okay, to purchase a tennis ball and a football. All right, if you can, on Amazon, okay, and if you obviously ask your parents, and if you really won't get both, okay, you can get maybe just get a tennis ball and then you can do these, okay? So we're gonna start off with a little bit of warm up. I'll use the socks for this, okay, just to show you that you can. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, okay, just as a little thing to get your body going, okay, is to touch it, touch the top, okay, touch the top and then touch either side. So touch the top, touch, Top, touch the top, over to the side. You're gonna do this for a minute, okay? Make sure you're using both feet, okay? Okay, and you'll do that for a minute, okay? Just to explain, obviously out here, I'm in a classroom here, I've just put, to create a kind of a meter square, I've put four books out, they're actually Oxford German dictionaries in this classroom. So, so I've just used any, you can use any objects in your bedroom or living room wherever you're doing this, okay? So there we go. So that's the task one, just that little warm up. Touch, touch, okay? So touch on top of the ball or the socks here and touch the, the corners, okay? Then we're gonna go for toe taps, okay? So we're gonna use sole of your foot. Remember, sole of your foot each time. Okay, so you're just gonna work for a minute again and you're gonna go on top of the ball. Okay, touch, 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 just touch. If you start to get tired, you can slow down slightly, or obviously you can go as quick as you can on top of that sock, pair of socks. Okay, or ball ideally. Okay, so you time yourself for a minute there. Maybe give yourself a challenge, how many touches you can, can you get in a minute? Okay. So now, Let's see if this tomato works so I don't squash it. You're gonna try and use the sole of your foot, okay, to try and just create some shapes in here. So just getting used to using the sole of your foot. So to start off with, with your right foot here, okay, just try and drag it round and just do a circle on the floor within your square, my four books here, okay. Drag it round, create a circle, okay. And obviously we wanna try and use both feet so move over to your other one and create a circle. If you can, try and keep your foot on the ball, yeah, and create that circle, okay? Do both of those, we're looking at a minute again, so 30 seconds on each foot, okay? If you can be both footed, fantastic. So now we're going for a square, so try and drag it across 
drag it forward, drag it across, drag it backwards, drag it across, drag it forward, drag it across, drag it backwards, okay, so on and so forth. So think about that square on the floor, and try and create that square on the floor, okay. 30 seconds, you switch over to your left foot, you might be able to guess which footed I am. And when I was younger, I never practiced with my weakest foot, okay? And that held me back a little bit when I was playing football. So it's really important that you can try and go with both feet, okay? So there's a square, okay, and then we're gonna last one, we're gonna go into a triangle, okay? So try and create that triangle shape into the point at the, the front with the sole of your foot, okay? Now you're one-footed here, so obviously the, the fitness part of this is balance on your other foot. Yeah, I'm a little bit wobbly there on my left. Okay, so you're trying to create that triangle. And then do so on the left as well. Into the point, across, across. Into the point, across, across. And you'll see I'm a little bit more sturdy on my right foot. Okay, so that'd be something to work on as well in terms of the balance and strength of my muscles. Okay, there we go. So there's three shapes. 30 seconds on each foot, circle, square, and the triangle, okay? Let's see if you've only got a tennis ball, you can do the next one, okay? So now you're just trying to try and uh, kind of increase the skill. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. But instead of going, so think about a square, but you're gonna try and get that square behind your middle foot. So backwards, across, across, and then forward. Backwards, across, across, and then forwards. Backwards, across, across, and then forwards. Backwards, across, across, and forwards. Around that foot, okay? Using the solo foot where you can, you might need a little touch there with your toes or something to get it across. All right, obviously the bit around the back there is the most difficult bit. Give it a challenge, 30 seconds, see if you can complete and then move on to the other foot. Okay, now you'll see my right foot is more solid, so I've got more balance. My left foot is more weaker, so I'll see if I can do this. Okay, across, forwards, there we go. Across, 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 forwards, across, 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 forwards, there we go. Okay, so there's a bit more of a challenge for you. See if you can do that, and if you can't do that, just go back to doing your square before you can move on to that one. Okay, all good. So now we're going to use our points. Okay, solely your foot again, remember. So we're going to go and try and go to each point. Okay, so let's say we use our right foot on this one. So you're going to go and roll to right point, roll to left point, roll to the far point. Okay, so if you were going to kind of areas of a compass really okay so i'm going north east here okay i'm coming back for southeast i'm going forward for southwest i'm coming over here for northwest and back to the middle okay keep that going for 30 seconds on your right foot try and keep that board nice and close to you you're probably going to hopefully be able to complete this in 30 seconds three or four times okay and you go over to your left foot Okay, there's a bit of hopping in there as well. All right, so left foot, back to the middle, left foot. It doesn't matter which direction you want to go in. To be honest, you could change it up. You could just go over from one side, straight over to the other, back to the middle, over to this side. Okay, but each time come back to the middle point of the square, of the compass, okay, before you go in there. So right foot, 30 seconds, left foot, 30 seconds. Once you get used to it, the challenge might be how many times you can do that in the 30 seconds or in the minute, okay? And then do the same thing, but try and use alternate, or use your right and your left foot, hopefully alternate, but on each one, so you can go right, left. So now, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to hop, you're not balancing on one foot, okay? But you can move that ball to the areas of the square, okay? There we go. And actually, if you do this properly, you can hear my breathing. It's a little bit of hard work, okay? And a 
another one, you might see how many touches you can get in before you touch each corner. Okay? Yeah, so get as many touches as you can before you hit each corner. Okay, so there's a minute. So the extension task would probably be to see how many times you can touch those corners in that minute. Okay? Now, uh, last one, all right, is to go round now. So we're gonna have a little change of direction. Okay, try and use your sole of your foot wherever possible. Okay, hopefully I should be able to get around these things here. I'll just move them forward slightly. So start from the middle, a bit more distance. So you're gonna kind of try, use both feet around. Whoop. Coming back. Okay. Around using the sole of your foot. Doesn't matter what direction you go in. Okay. You can go in the same direction, you can move it up at each time. Come back into the middle before you go around. Okay, now I've done all of those with a tennis ball. I've realized I haven't used a football. Obviously if you have a football, just make it realistic, use this for all of these. Or if you've got a tennis ball and a football, you can mix it up, okay? Um, so we just show the same again with a football. So try and go round. Now with this, solely your foot, it's probably actually harder than the tennis ball because you've got to go a little bit higher to get over it. Okay? Okay, you might go round. There we go. Okay? Perfect. Now, one thing I haven't done. Let's see if these socks roll. Okay? So we're just going to try and go both feet. We'll go to the corners, okay? Okay? We're going to move into a little bit of a sausage. Okay, you want to do them up nice and tight, but it can be done. I've just shown it can be done. So there's no excuses if you don't have the equipment. Try and get the equipment, please. Okay, but there we go. That's an introduction to foot cell and the use of the sole of the feet. Okay, you will see on the YouTube clips, look out particularly for every time a ball is passed to them, the use of the sole of the feet with a foot cell. Very important. Okay, thank you, gents. Well done. Good luck.